Hello everyone to uh, Devil May Cry. And I welcome you to Mission 11, Revenge with the Super Blue Badger. Today we will be going the Gunslinger route. You know why? Because we got up to level 2, might as well make some use out of it. And we are going to go absolutely fucking crazy today. We're going to take not just Spiral, but we're going to take Spiral and Artemis. Some of the slowest, heaviest weapons of the game. And it's going to be beautiful. Let me tell you all about it. Well, actually, you've already seen both of the guns in action, other than Spiral. And you'll get to see Spiral work in just a little bit. I'm picking up Nevin so that we can give it another shot, since I didn't really give it much of a chance in the last, last episode. What happened last episode, anyway? We picked up the Neo Generator. We ran over to a bridge. Had a rant about football. And kicked it halfway across a bridge. Yeah, not a lot happened in the last episode, did it? Not even a box fight. Disappointing, I tell you. Disappointing. Absolutely bloody disappointing. But now it's time for Mission 11, Revenge. Give a guest from the past an adequate homecoming. We seem to be in some sort of gear room for the time being, which is quite bizarre. I'm not quite used to uh, the mechanics of the tower being displayed, as you know, we always see the pretty aesthetics of the gothic architecture just hanging around, and it's, uh, you know, a bit of a change. I'm not actually sure how I did that uh, rain attack right there, but... I'll figure that out later, that's not important right now. Absolutely fucking fantastic. So... Enigma's nothing special. At this point, the story is just slowing down. With the, with the last episode, we are currently on, we're on our way to the basement to find our bro brother Virgil, who is currently trying to open the gateway to hell for whatever reason. Also, there's a Devil Star here, but because of a previous recording, I picked it up already. But yes, the story is slowing down just a considerable amount. There's nothing really in terms of serious plot progression to happen here. The long dramatic hallway. Will something happen? I think something will happen. I think something just happened. Somebody farted. Yes, I made a fart joke. Oh, get back to the name on this monster, because I've completely forgotten it already. Regardless of this, uh, these monsters, in effect, work like the boos from Super Mario Brothers. Why, you ask? Because when you turn around, they reappear, but when you're facing them, they will turn invisible and ethereal. You will not be able to hit them in any way, shape, or form, as I am boldly displaying here with all my idiocy. So what do you do? You use Trickshot, the special attack of Gunslinger, with Spiral making the bullet bounce off the wall and strike them behind you without even having to turn and face the motherfuckers. You... Yeah, uh, they also do that, by the way. Be careful of that. But yeah, easy enough. You can pretty much defeat these with any form of gunslinger. Especially your bony and ivory, because you can point both your pistols over your shoulders and just shoot them away. Easy enough, really. They're not a gigantic threat. They don't have much health. You just basically need to wail on them in some indirect form. I'm sure Nevin could probably do something about that. <laughs> Apparently there's a puzzle in this room. I think Devil May Cry has mistaken itself of Resident Evil. If you replace these stone blocks with cardboard boxes, that is. But easy enough, you just slash them into the hole. Success. Three freakish looking faces etched into the statue. Two faces two of the faces weep with blood. Appealing. That can be easy to miss if you're not very good at puzzle games. So, just as food for thought, something a little bit off-topic here. Just a little something, because I wanted to change it up a little bit. But have you ever looked at something and... immediately mistaken it for something very much not what it was? For today, I went into the living room, to which the rats were out. All three of the rats, Gustav, Puddles, and Edward, are lovable three little rats. And the... oh, wait. I thought I found a way out. Nope, door shut. Anyway... About the three lov lovable rats, Edward Puddles and Gustav. Edward was out and decided to be a clever little scamp and knock over a water vase. 
All I heard from behind over my shoulder was drip, 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 drip. And I turned around and saw a rat lying in this massive puddle, dropping water everywhere, soaking the entire floor. And I just went, damn! Edward, you just pissed your entire body weight. How did you do that? You must have been holding it in for days. And literally, this is my... Oh, yeah, what did I do there? This is my genuine reaction to this. For some reason, my brain thought it logical that a rat managed to piss two times its own body fluids. And how this worked out, I have no idea. My brain just thought it feasible. So, never underestimate the human mind and kick some Grim Reaper asses. It's nice to be able to kick his ass again. <laughs> not like this kind of guy could ever defeat me. Ever. <laughs> it's not like he defeated me in one of the episodes, an episode of Mission 6, I believe it was. No, wait, that never happened, did it? Haha. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, Blue Badger. It never happened. You're just insinuating it did. Well, yes, I know, Blue Badger. That's just the way it goes. But easy enough, he's taken down, and we progress onwards. And in celebration of his defeat, we play him a beautiful guitar rock solo! Woo! Beautiful. Thank you for that one, Dante. And so we progress onwards to a sort of underground tram system. How bizarre. And under here, there's some holy water and a green ore, but I've already picked up the holy water. For those that do not know, holy water damages demons quite considerably. And can take off a significant portion of de uh, boss's health. Also, that flame... Will... Well, we'll get back to that later in the next episode. Whee! Okay, it's time for the express well, express way to hell. Straight like a bat out of hell, we're going to defeat some monsters on a high-speed action chase. Well, it's not really a car chase scene, is it? When both vehicles are moving at the exact same speed. A reasonable measure on a single monorail track. So yeah, this isn't really a high-speed car chase or action sequence. It's just a normal battle on a moving platform. A little bit unusual, nothing too different. It's actually quite fun because it's actually quite a nice tight arena. With normal monsters for a change, really easy to defeat, easy to hack and slash and get some mad combo points on these bitches. Watch those motherfuckers run into my purple balls. I mean my purple wolves. Let's play them a solo. That was Dante's latest impression of Hammerfall. There's really nothing to be threatened by here. They throw nothing but enigmas, prides, lusts. Maybe a sloth, I'm not sure. But really there's nothing to be feared here. Because we, we've got Devil Trigger now. It's been a while since we've seen the, uh, the normal stock monsters. But we've got Devil Trigger. We've got an upgraded arsenal of sheer power under our belt. Yes, there is sheer power under my belt. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you get the innuendo. But other than that, I'm not even sure if you should shoot those uh, blasty things on the other side. It doesn't really seem to do much. And so we are at the Badger Cave. Yes, Dante has finally re returned to my humble abode. I hope you like the decorations I picked out for it. And for now, it's time for Nevin to go back in the closet, because it's too slow for me. I'm all about speed and power, baby. That's because I'm a dominant male, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I hope you like my living room. The Badger living room has the highest quality purpose lava that you can find this side of Badgerverse. Yes, the Badgerverse. Oh, you poor thing. 
Didn't your mother ever teach you how to use a door? Give me a break. Tell you what, next time I'll try and wear some cologne, okay? It's the stench of betrayal. The odor of that accursed Sparta. I will annihilate every last population of Sparta! Ha 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 ha! cleaning up his dad's mess, huh? Where have I heard this story before? So welcome to Beowulf. I'm not if that, entirely sure if that's how you say it, but he is possibly one of the hardest bosses to face in the game. At least for me he is, because I have a problem dealing with oversized rodents. And he hits for it like a fucking truck. Also quite rapidly. And I have the fucking small fart I- small fart? Small fart? Badger, what the fuck is a small fart? A fart that is small? Regardless of this, which will move onwards. But Beowulf attacks rapidly, leaving with no time for pause. You must attack while he attacks, and he hits like a freight train. Just one combo of his attacks could really devastate your health bar. And even with the regenerative properties of the Devil Trigger, it's just not enough. It won't recover your health for any significant amount. And seriously, just like that, bam, we're almost dead. And that's because I had the small farts. Small farts? I keep meaning to say foolhardy, and I say small farts. Regardless of this, the smart way to go about this is to use Swordmaster. And I should have probably done that. Yep, his attack hands are... at least this attack pretty relaxing, you know, you can easily just side roll out of it, fire a few bullets. Easy enough. But yes, it would probably be a smarter idea, and that's why I reincarnated into a new battle. But Dante didn't die at all, no, I just completely re... you know, I changed the mechanics of the universe, and now we have Swordmaster on our back of full health. But just to make it even for him, I, re I replenished his health as well. And so we're having an epic brawl in the midst of the Badger Cave. Right in my living room, no doubt. I, and I love what he's done with the place, especially how he's destroyed half my furniture. But as you can see, the aerial rave attack actually makes it a lot easier. As you can see, he's grabbing his face and slailing around like a mu like, whoa, like a blind person in a lingerie store, actually. Funny story about that, I'll leave that till another time. But instead, jump slash, jump slash, jump slash. His eye is his weak point and it hits for massive fucking damage. When you get to about a quarter point of his health, he'll do that weird wing thing, increases his power, he becomes faster, stronger, hits like two freight trains. But that isn't gonna matter because he's not gonna defeat us. He might have come close once, but that was because of my own foolhardiness. Aha, you thought you got me that time, but no, I slashed you in the face! Haha! <laughs> so really, there is no opportune time to really attack Beowulf, or Beowulf. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it. Correct me if you will, but I don't know how. Also, this would be a great time to actually uh, get back to some questions that I... Um, was received in a previous video. I received Blue Badger. One, do you play any instruments by Ray Shadow? I was asking for more so questions about the game, but no, I do not play any instruments except the universe. The universe is my instrument. Secondly, I think there was a second question. I'll have to come back to that one. I am very sorry. But if you have any more questions about Devil May Cry or myself, please ask them and I'll answer them in the next video for you. If I remember, because I'm an idiot, sometimes, and yes, I control the universe. Explains how the world turned out, hasn't it? Here's his feather attack, and I'm not entirely sure how you dodge this, actually. I heard that you have to jump and fire off bullets, but I'm not entirely sure about that. 
And so I resort for purely experimental purposes, the use of holy water. Quite a fair bit of damage, yes? Father, come on, man, cut me some slack. And with that, we don't even get a devil weapon. Pathetic. Done, done, done. And the mission is complete. Beautiful, wasn't it? Thankfully, we will not be seeing Beowulf again, but we will be hearing of him. See more next time on the next episode of Devil May Cry goes to get a nice job in college. Out of college. Three. See you next time. for it. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not going to shoot me, are you? If you do, I'll die. You know, if that's what it takes to shut you up, it bugs the crap out of me when someone talks more than I do. Don't act so rashly, my boy. I've got a doozy of a story for you. But if you snuff out my voice like that, I won't be able to tell it now, will I? <laughs> Whoa. Whew. Whew. I thought I was a goner for sure. <laughs> Oops. You saw it too, didn't you? That huge tower jutting out of the ground. That thick shaft that causes women to shudder. It's actually a tunnel. Linking the demonic domain to the human world. And of course, your brother Virgil is the one who controls it by using your mommy's amulet. Amulet? He's headed to the control room in the basement. If you don't hop down there quick like a bunny, he'll open the gate to hell! Isn't that a scary thought? And you're telling me this because... Oops! I forgot to mention one teeny little item. <laughs> that gizmo there is actually the key to move forward. But the tricky thing is, it sucks the souls of those who hold it. So I think you better hurry! <laughs> but, in return for your soul, it'll give you power. Marvelous, isn't it? Just let your young spirit drive you, and go for it! Wish you would have told me that in the first place. You big mouth, moron.